Hello you amazing hackers, so I heard some of you wanted to get into bug bounties, so I have a few starter tips and resources gathered for you on how you can get into them, and maybe some for you experienced hunters as well on how to improve your web hunting. So the first resource I have for you is Web Hacking 101. This is a book written by Peter Jaworski, sorry if I butchered your name there. Um, I would really recommend you get this book, the minimum price is 10 bucks, if you can I would really appreciate it if you guys uh, pay this person what you can honestly for his work because as you'll see you'll get a lot of value from this book it's really valuable now uh, the next book i would the next topic i would recommend is the OWASP api security project now you guys probably already know the OWASP top 10 uh, this is something like the top 10 but specifically for apis and this is in my opinion the new methodology for bug bounty hunters you can see a short description uh, on up on the top and when you scroll down a little bit you can see on the right here your downloads for the PDF and this will give you an overview of the top 10 uh, there's also the regular top 10 of course which is important but there are better resources to learn this from because the OWASP top 10 is very high level and it doesn't go very much into detail so uh, you can of course follow my channel or a few other YouTube channels, but I'll make a separate video about which YouTube channels you can follow to get into bug bounty hunting and to keep up to date. Now when you have a bit of an idea of what vulnerabilities you can find, you should of course practice them. A couple of applications for that, them vulnerable web application being one of them, um, you can easily install this on a local machine. You can uh, start up a web server and you can start then from a web application there. You can start it on Docker. You can start it on, uh, I think on Heroku as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't pin me down on that. There are a lot of options for damn vulnerable web application and it's highly recommended in my opinion because you can change the security levels and it's really interesting. Now also, of course, the juice shop from OWASP and a hack this site, you guys probably know hack this site, some people have asked me if it's still relevant, in my opinion it really is, the realistic missions, you would be surprised of the kind of crap people try to throw on the internet these days, so for me it's really worth it. Now uh, one resource that I forgot in here is the Port Swigger Labs, so I'm quickly going to get those up for you guys. This is also a very important resource for me, because uh, it'll it's free that's that's very important of course and you can learn a whole lot from these guys these guys developed burp suite they know what they're talking about and they have some excellent research on here uh, and it's completely free again so definitely recommend this now if you want to keep up to date with the latest bug bounty news and that kind of stuff one good resource is twitter so i have a few twitter resources as well for you Tom Nom Nom is somebody I follow myself personally. He does a lot of great work for the bug bounty community. So does Nahamsek, really great bug bounty hunter, somebody I aspire to be, uh, really, really great guy. Also at Overflow, the guy who created security.txt, not live Overflow, like I mistakenly tweeted, uh, so sorry for that, Ed. Really, I follow this guy, really great guy as well. You guys should. Uh, probably go follow him if you like bug bounties and friends rosen of course he makes the best tools and he releases them to the public so uh, really interesting to follow him as well now uh, what's also really interesting if you want to be a bug bounty hunter is start reading the hacktivity on hacker one not only the hacktivity of course there are other uh, publicly disclosed vulnerabilities that you can google and that you can read I would start on Hacker One because uh, it contains the biggest collection of hackers on the internet, and uh, that's of course not always going to give you the biggest amount of disclosures, but it's going to give you a fair bit. So as you can see, the first one has been by Nahamsek. My expense report really resulted in an SSRF. So that's it's really interesting to read this kind of stuff. You can get an idea of what big bug of bounty hunters are looking for and how do you report it because that's also really something you should be aware of how to report a good bug if you want to learn more about that the link is in the description below i'll also put in my own playlist so you guys can get an idea of what's important in bug bounty hunting uh, and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did, please remember to subscribe because when we hit 1,500 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. So uh, 
hope I'll see you in the next video and bye.